Conus fractures mostly occur in old age, especially with osteoporosis after menopause. So, with minor trauma, the patient will be exposed to fractures, like colis fractures. Colis fractures which occur in the lower end radius and become displaced dorsally. So, these fractures need reduction and fixation. Sometimes, with minimally displaced fractures, we can do external casting only. But with displaced fractures or unstable fractures, we may need some sort of internal fixation or for fixation, like by K wires, external fixator, plates and screws. Uh, today, we have a patient with minimally displaced fracture in the lower end the radius. I have done to him closed reduction and casting and after one day the patient presented uh, can mobilize her fingers freely and the x-ray show perfect reduction. X-ray show dorsally displays the fracture in the lower end radius which is called colis fracture. The fracture causes severe pain and inability to move fingers. I have done to the patient closed reduction and external fixation by blaster cast, which was well padded and advised to elevate the hand and mobilize her finger. She must flex and extend the fingers freely. That is to prevent stiffness and sodex atrophy, which occur frequently due to edema and inability to move the fingers. And after one day, I did post X-ray to check the reduction. The reduction was perfectly reduced. These fractures need follow-up with x-ray after one week and after that follow-up till union and the main need change of the cast. Please subscribe to my channel and put your comments. See you again. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.